Hi, my Virgos, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your weekly spread for the week of November 11th, 2019. You've got two bonus cards from the Dorian Virtue Goddess Guidance deck, and then you've got the Rider Waite cards. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. <coughs> Excuse me. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, um, pendulums for divination and prophecy, protection bracelets, I also have a 10 minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Um, keep in mind these are general readings, not personal readings. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hi, how are you? If you're not so new, welcome. Hi, how are you? All right, so let's just jump right in. Okay, so you got the two of these, um, the two bonus cards. You've got Bridget. I was like, these cards look familiar. It's because I tried to record your video 20 times yesterday, but the kids wouldn't let me. Okay, so you've got Bridget. Don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. So whatever is going on, whatever the case may be, stand up for what's, you know, stand do, it, do what you know is right. So if somebody's telling you, go, go over here and rob this bank, don't do it. If somebody's telling you, you know, if you really love me, you'll be involved in a threesome with me. No, 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 no. Do what you know is right. You stand up for yourself and don't let people try to sway you either way. Well, if you're really my friend, then you're really going to not like this person. If you're really my friend, you're going to do what I want. No, no, nobody can bully you. You know, I've never seen a, I've never met um, a Virgo that could be bullied or swayed. <laughs> so that would be, yeah, that would be a, an odd Virgo. Okay. Now we've got Damara, guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. Maybe some of you work at a school. Maybe you work at a daycare. You know, maybe um, maybe you've got a lot of kids. Maybe you've got grandkids. Maybe grandchildren are dumped off in at your house. Um, you are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So whatever you can do to help, whatever is going on in your life involving children, understand that this is your life purpose. So if you're looking at it like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm supposed to be enjoying my golden years, but there's grandkids dumped off. Maybe this is a part of the life plan. Okay, so, <laughs> Virgo, that doesn't mean, oh, Jamie Zebra 23 said it's a part of the life plan. I think I'm just not going to raise my kids anymore. I'm just going to dump them off with grandma. That's not what I mean. Okay, so we, <laughs> so we got the judgment card. We got the two of pentacles. We got the three of cups. We got the ace of pentacles. We've got the moon card, and we've got the king of cups. So with these cards, this is what can be expected. Okay. So it looks like a message is going to come in, a text message, an email, a phone call. It's kind of like, do I respond? Am I going to let this person get a rise out of me? This person knows I'm mad at them. Why are they messaging me? Or, you know, they're messaging me, hey, what's up? They've not apologized for what they did to me. Um, don't Then don't take the bait. I feel like somebody's going to be like, I want to talk to you. I want to see you in person and talk to you. Unless they're they're saying something of value in that message, I wouldn't see them unless you want to, because it does show that there's some tricks up their sleeve. If you want to see them, you can. But it's saying use your judgment here when it comes to these messages that are coming in. Also, when it comes to paperwork, make sure you're filling things out correctly. Make sure that you're understanding the ins and outs of whatever this is. Make sure you know what you're signing. Make sure... Make sure you've read what you're signing. Make sure that you know what you're signing up for. Make sure you know what you're buying because um, it is retrograde and you don't want to be like, you know, signing off on a, you know, on a Mercedes when really you wanted a Honda or vice versa. Um, make sure that you understand how the payments work, the dates of the payments, how often the payments are. Make sure you understand what, what this is. Also, for some of you, before you get a pet, you need to make sure that you know what the deposit is and you need to make sure that you know where you can, um, if, if, you need to know if you can have pets there because maybe where you live, somebody's allergic to it. Maybe where you live, they don't allow it. There's something that's a little bit off here, so make sure that you know what you're doing so that you're not, you know, 
adopting a pet just to abandon that pet. You know, a lot of people do that, especially around the holidays. They get pets for people, and then the people can't have pets, or, you know, it's not compatible with a new, a pit bull isn't compatible with a newborn baby, and then the pit bull has to suffer because, you know, people are irresponsible. So, so please don't adopt any pets that you can't take care of, or you're not aware if the person can take care of it, the, the gift you're giving. Just don't do it, guys. Like, please. It's, it's like adopting a kid and saying, sorry, brown hair and green eyes don't work for this family. Bye. Yeah. Look at it the exact same way. All right. So now let's talk about a Scorpio, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, but big emphasis on Scorpio. So you do have love coming in. It does look like it's with a water sign. This, for some of you, this may be a past water sign. For some of you, this may be a current water sign. Either way, there's love coming with a water sign, with a Cancer of Pisces or a Scorpio. Um, so let's say there is a water sign that comes back around towards you. It looks like that maybe they have something going on with somebody else still. There might be like, oh, no, no, I don't talk to him or her anymore. Oh, we don't talk. I don't know them like that. I don't know. I'm not doing that. I'm not involved in any of that. Um, <coughs> Make sure that that's the case before you get too involved. I also see that, um, I also see with the Ace of Pentacles energy here, um, for some of you, you are coming into some money. You've got, you've got a lot of prosperity, frequency, and vibrations going on. I feel like anything that has to do with your finances, you're going to strike gold. So if you're trying to upgrade at a job, if you're asking for a loan, if you're asking for a, um, a raise if you're if you're playing the lottery if you're playing scratch offs it looks like you it looks like it'll be successful it looks like whatever it is that you're trying to do that has to do with finances will be good and successful also for some of you you do have choices and love to make there's two options that you could choose no no please don't do that don't do that there's a lot of options in love and romance mm -mm. a lot of options in love and romance that's going to be happening so you might feel like you're juggling you may have to just choose one so let's say you know this isn't i don't even think that this is something bad this isn't like, oh, I'm, you know, I've got a wife and I'm like trying to find women. It's not like that. It's kind of like I went on a dating site or I decided to accept phone numbers. I'm dating people. 